Jaden is working his way through life science this year for science and um, we're going to show you a little bit of what Uzingo um, middle school level science is like and he's going to do uh, animal classification. If you put your pencils, books, notes, and video games in the same place, you will have some trouble finding them. So, you put your pencils in the pencil rack and group your books, notes, and video games. Similarly, organisms are grouped according to their characteristics. By classifying the organisms, we can easily understand the similarities and the differences between them. Classification helps us to understand nature. To group a number of different organisms, a special classification tool consisting of a series of two-part statements describing characteristics of organisms was used. In this tool, at each step, two choices are presented. When a particular characteristic of an organism is selected as a choice, a new branch of the key is presented. Eventually, the name of the organism that tried to be identified is obtained. In this activity, you will figure out how to classify some animals by using a special classification tool. Choose one of the animals that you want to place in its group. Click on the yes or no buttons to answer the questions. You can use the x-ray and magnifier tools to see the internal structures or the detailed view of the animal. To do this, first select a tool by clicking on its button. Then, navigate over the animal picture. Click on the interactive text to read the information cards. To see a general view of the dichotomous key, click on the key button. Does this animal have a vertebral column? Is this animal four-limbed? Does this animal have moist skin? Jaden, can you show us the magnifier? And how about the x-ray tool? What are we going to see when we use the x-ray tool? Bones. What's that? This yep. is the vertebrae column. The vertebral column, that's right. Okay, go ahead. Does this animal have scaly skin on all or part of its body? See it on his feet? Show his feet. Now show the back one. You can see the scales on his feet. See them? Go ahead. Does this animal have feathers? The turtle is a member of the reptile group. Now that Jaden has worked through um, a piece of the animal classification, they take him through the information uh, to help him learn about the reptile turtle. Reptiles' dry and scaly skin protects them from predators and the environment. They have two pairs of legs, breathe through their lungs, and lay eggs with shells. The body temperatures of reptiles change with the temperature of the environment. Crocodile, snake, lizard, and iguana are examples of the reptiles. <laughs> 